Pierce County recently completed its primary election. Here to talk with us about how the process went and what will take place between now and the November general election is Michael Rooney with the Pierce County Auditor's Office. Good morning, Michael. Hi, thank you for having me on. You bet, welcome to our show. So, uh, how was the turnout of the primary election? So, we're just wrapping up our primary election and turnout was actually about 34%. And that's actually a little bit higher than what we expected. We were hoping, we were thinking we were going to be in the 28 to 30 percent range, maybe 32, yeah. but we ended up at 34. I always like to think that races and issues uh, kind of drive turnout, and we probably saw that a little bit with U.S. Senator, 8th Congressional, and also the 26th Legislative District races. Yeah. Uh, plus, one other thing is, you know, we implemented prepaid postage this year. And I think that maybe boosted turnout a little bit as well. We'll have to see over a group of elections to see if that trend continues. Mm -hmm. And I understand that there were some changes that went into effect for this election. Can you share a little bit more about well, those? The big change is that prepaid postage. Uh, so no matter if you were putting your ballot in a post office box, a blue USPS box, or one of our drop boxes, mm -hmm. no stamp was required. And, you know, we recognize we like options for our voters. Some voters like to use that drop box, oh, gives them yeah. a sense of security that they're putting it in. They know it's in there on time mm -hmm. and they know that we're, it's a directly coming to us. Um, the other thing we did is we put in eight new drop boxes this spring. So we now have 43 uh, ballot drop boxes across the county. I like to say we're from the peninsula to the mountain. Uh, we put boxes out at uh, Lake Catherine Village, Fox Island, and we're at Ashford and uh, Wilkeson. So we're clear across yeah, the county. So convenient. Mm -hmm. So Michael, can you share with us what does your office look like on election night? Well, election day and night is always exciting times. <laughs> Uh, I like to think of it as being the culmination of a lot of hard work. Uh, you know, we have to design, print, and mail out ballots. We produce a voter's pamphlet. We're helping and assisting customers leading up to the election. So it's that, it's that culmination of that election. Uh, the one thing about it also is, you know, throughout the day, we're still processing and opening ballots and getting them through our tabulators. Yeah. About six o'clock on election night, we dispatch our uh, ballot pickup crews. So they go out to close the boxes. Each of those drop boxes have to be closed at 8 p.m. Plus, they're also picking up those ballots and transporting them back. And that, um, you know, that's a team of two transporting them securely. And then as we're leading up to eight o'clock, there's that anticipation of the first set of results. Yeah. You print the results out. If you do a quick look to make sure that they're complete and accurate, and then we post them on our website. So it's exciting, it's anticipation, and it's, and you can kind of, it's one of those little milestones in the election. About how late do you guys stay on that day? Oh, we typically will end up working, you know, we start at 6 o'clock to support all of our voting centers, yeah. and then results at 8, and we're out of there in the 11 o'clock, 11.30 when we get all of our ballots back from our drop boxes. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, I understand there are some changes coming with the process of getting registered to vote. Can you share a little bit about? Primarily new laws going into effect next year. One is same day registration. So um, wow. it removes those deadlines of 29 days before you have to be registered. Uh, you can basically register and vote on election day. Mm -hmm. There's pre-registration for 16 and 17 year olds. So as they go in to get their first driver's license or ID card, uh, they can sign up to vote. Of course, they won't be able to vote until they're 18, but at least we're having that yeah. initial contact. Yeah. Um, and then everything is about trying to remove barriers yeah. and making it easy to register. Yeah. But I like yeah. to say registering is only the first step. We yeah. want you to vote as well. Yeah, it's easier than ever. Mm -hmm. Well, Michael, thank you for joining us today and for the, all the outstanding work that your team and the volunteers are doing because every vote really does matter. So thanks for being here today. It certainly does, and thank you. <laughs> you can register to vote online by going to the Pierce County Auditor's website. Coming up next, we'll get an update on several Tacoma Power projects. Stay with us.